Good morning, everybody. We have a crisis on our hands. We need eggs. Got breakfast going over here. But we need eggs. What was that? I gotta drop something. Oh, great. Did it go between here? I see him. I see him. Oh, that's my, oh, my motorcycle keys are down there too. Oh, okay. You don't want to see in there. It's dangerous in there. One second. Let me see if I can just. Nope. Okay. Shoehorn. Ha! Shoehorn. Where's the shoehorn? Genius! Never thought of that. Don't go under there. No, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> See that diesel? Was that entertaining? Looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, these are supposed to be on a different key ring so that, that doesn't happen. There we go. Okay. Mask. Truck keys. Hat. Eggs. Hello, my old friend. Pretty beautiful wintry day today. It's still fall time though, let's not forget. Winter only starts on December 21st. I'm going to Shopper's Drug Mart because I have instructions from the boss to get Shopper's optimum points. So I got my mask, got my wallet, I took all of you guys with me because I didn't want to go by myself. Eggs and milk. Eggs and milk. Remind me, okay, if I forget. We need eggs and milk. What's the temperature outside? It's minus eight degrees Celsius outside. It's not too cold yet. That is probably, I don't know, like uh, in the 20s Fahrenheit. Not too bad. It looks colder than it is. It looks pretty cold. But at least our, our streets got cleared last night. That's awesome. I didn't even have to clear it myself. Man, they, they take my garbage away for me. They clear the streets for me. This is the life, you know? Finally, my tax dollars. I can see what my taxes go to. <laughs> you don't get that in the rural. Because you still got to pay taxes when you live way out in the middle of nowhere. But you don't get any services. We were so far out before also that they also considered us outside the fire protection area. So we didn't even have fire protection. So my home insurance was higher. Isn't that crazy, eh? But now, man, this is convenient. This is convenient. Look at this, we're shoppers already. Look at this, ha! This person better watch their door when they get into their car. Oh, look, a semi-truck. Can you feel it? Oh, that beautiful diesel engine. Oh. I bet when we get out, it'll smell like diesel exhaust. Oh, it's so good. Maybe I don't want to put this on yet. <laughs> All right, got my muzzle on so I don't bite anybody. Limit of 50 people. Yeah. Eggs. We should be getting eggs from my cousin. That's what we should be doing. Good to me. Eggs. Eggs and milk. We did good. Oh, excuse me. All right. Walking into people here. Watch where I'm going. We were victorious. We are going back home as winners. 
I didn't only get one carton of eggs. I went back for a second one. I'm bringing back two cartons of eggs and a four liter jug of milk. You wanna roll something interesting for all of my uh, viewers from other countries? And from Western Canada, you might find this surprising too because we don't do this out here. Out in Eastern Canada, they put their milk in bags. In a bag. I know, I get it. I get what you're thinking right now. How, how? It's just a clear plastic bag. And then they have like a special little jug at home and they put the bag in the jug and then they pour it out of a, why? I don't know. But they seem to claim that that's a Canadian thing. No, 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 we don't do that out here. That's, we, we're not crazy. <laughs> no, seriously, Odie, so I don't know why they put it in bags, but that's an interesting fact for you guys who aren't from Canada. Odie, you will find that here. We use jugs, you know, like normal people. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's, it's unique. You know, it's one of those unique things that when you go out east, it is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You know? You got to be different in some way. And at least they can always say, we're different. We put our milk in bags. That's what's important. You want to be unique. You want to stand out, make your mark in this world. This guy's missing a piece of his bumper. Whoops! Probably snow that got kicked up, I'm guessing. Keep him the benefit of the doubt. I could have gone to 7-Eleven to get my eggs and milk, but apparently we get a better deal and points at Shoppers. I don't know, I just do as I'm told. I went to Shoppers. Because we're winners. There's a truck coming out of that resident. Oh, he's a bobtail. I thought he had a trailer on him. Like, oh, what are you doing with a trailer down there, bud? No judgment. No judgment. Hey, I've been there. I've done that. <laughs> okay. Before we can go home, though, the most important part of the day. Say it with me. Timmy's. 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 The lineup is all the way out here. So I'm already going home a winner for getting milk and eggs. And I'm going to bring her Timmy's too. Just to seal the deal. Who can say no to that? Right? I know, I'm irresistible. Eggs, milk, and Timmy's. You know, that's why I'm the number one husband. That's how I do it. There's my secret, now you know. So I'm filming this on Friday. What's the date today? Friday, November 13th, 2020. We're still in this 2020 year, guys. You surviving? I hope so. Crazy year, eh? Crazy year. Did you know that apparently our town here, like we started off so good throughout this whole deal. Apparently now we are like the highest or the biggest hotspot per capita in the country. That's what I heard. Maybe it's a lie. I don't know. Fake news? Who knows? That's what I heard. That's why they wanted to... Uh, shut us down for a few weeks we'll get it back we'll get it back we're winners we will win one cup of Timmy's at a time we will win this thing this lineup is actually moving pretty quick today I'm pretty impressed you're not allowed to go in the store right now so the drive through is obviously uh, very busy, but they've got a lot of people working on it. Okay, guys, here we go. I hope their espresso machine is fixed. Good morning, what can I get for you? I could have a large steep tea with one milk and half sugar. Okay. And also an extra large coffee with two cream and uh, two shots of espresso. Okay. Is the espresso machine fixed today? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, oh, that makes the day better. That's all then. Okay, your total comes to 615, please. Super have duper. Thank you. Yes! They fixed the espresso machine. Yes! I remember the Tim cards today, remember? I put them in the wallet yesterday. See? Oh, I'm so excited. They fixed the, they, they, they fixed the espresso machine. See, the world's getting better already. Hi. Hi. Can I use this one first and uh, 
if there's still some left, I'll use this one. Oh, it's all empty already? Oh, it's all good? Right on. Thank you. Fantastic. What a good day. What a good day. All right. Let's go home and claim our victory. Oh, yeah. I'm a winner, boys. A winner. Not. I'm a winner. Not a wiener. No. Winner. No, not a wiener. Frank, tell her I'm a winner, not a wiener. You're a wiener. Even he agrees, see? Traitor. Diesel? Still wiener. Don't get me involved in gate bang. We got the boss over there making the food. The chef. The chef? The chef boss? A lot of chefery going on over there? A lot of chefery. A lot of chefery. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Diesel, you have no idea how good this is gonna taste. Poor Diesel. He does. Wiener, can you go to your bed? Go to your bed. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. Go to your bed. I know your tricks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fine, if you say so. Right here, I'll be watching. Are they gonna stab Chevy's needles? Are you excited? Excited? You're going to the you doctor? To go to the doctor? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Too. Oh, me too. Me too. You're going to go to the doctor? You to bite me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's so excited. He's shaking. <laughs> so, oh, Big God. Frank and Chevy need to go get their distemper shots today. And I'm taking them. Time to go see the doctor. Keep everybody up to date. <laughs> I'm gonna go to your doctor too. <laughs> Mom, can I go? <laughs> no barking. Diesel, you went to the doctor, remember? You went to the doctor already. Peter, you already went too. You went just the other day, buddy. You're really excited to go get your needle. I'm usually not so excited to see the doctor myself, but hey, to each their own. I made this appointment uh, when I brought Diesel in. What was it, on Monday? I'd like to get all these things out of the way so we don't have to worry about them for the next year. All right, boys, here we are. Gotta give them a call from the parking lot again, let them know we're here, and they'll let us know when we can come in. So, I bring them in one at a time, and I don't go in the building. I just bring them to the door, and they take them, and uh, they do whatever they need to get done. And then they'll call me when they're done with Frankie, and then I'll bring Chevy to them, do a switch, do the same thing, and then after that, I'm sure they'll have uh, payment at the door or something. We'll figure it out, but yeah, still code red, so we gotta wait in the vehicle. At least, they, at least they're still open, right? I appreciate them still being open. All right, everybody. That's it, we're all set. All caught up for the next year. How you guys feel? Like a million bucks? I hope you at least feel like 171 bucks. How was it, Frank? How was the doctor visit? I'm gonna go lay down. Chevy. How do I always miss my mouth when I do that? Anyways, we are on our way into Winnipeg now. We still have one more hurdle to jump over to get that pickup truck completely done buying it out. Because it was a lease, GM owned it, I bought it from GM, they have the paperwork for my insurance now so that we can move the insurance onto my name. And then it is finally complete 100% mine. Let's go and do this. All the way into the big city. <laughs> yee yee! <laughs> Excited? Not really. <laughs>
so I pulled a Josh and forgot the papers that we needed. Are you surprised? I'm not. <laughs> well, I should have okay. asked. I should have asked before we left the house. I, I didn't know. I thought that we would have had it. The safety that got done on this truck, we needed it with us, but they got it done without it. All I got to do is I got to send it to them. That hand sanitizer we used inside it stinks. Yeah, a lot of the hand sanitizer does. It's weird. Ugh, people use like straight like moonshine, I think. Actually, moonshine would smell better than this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so uh, all I got to do is send in a copy of that safety tonight yet and then go tomorrow to our insurance broker in Steinbeck and get it all set up and this bad boy is officially 100% ours. Paid for in full. No more payments. Yeah. So we can go buy another one. In 10 years. In 10 years. I have no desire to have any new vehicles again for a long time. I don't want we don't payments. want the payments. We want the vehicles, but not the payments. Wait, and plus our vehicles are pretty new. Like they're they're pretty new. This is a 2016. Yours is a 2017, 2015, uh, 2014. 2014. These are they're still pretty new, and this truck's only got 87,000 kilometers on it. Yours has got about the same. And we baby the heck out of mine, so it'll last a very long mm -hmm. time. So unless we all of a sudden actually finally are able to have children, and they like come out bang bang bang, mm -hmm. we won't need another one for a long time. Yeah, the only reason we would need a new vehicle is if, you know, like she said, if we had three kids in a row. Yeah. And then we could still technically use that terrain, but it not with car seats. It would we, be squishy. <laughs> it'd be squishy. We'd need a bigger vehicle then for that. But. Exactly. So until that happens, and I think we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with my vehicle. This truck will last a long time. I just got to get that rust fixed on the driver's side wheel well. And a new windshield because you have a stone. You stone chips. I've seen stone chips. I'll probably wait for them to start to crack, though. Because I have a $200 deductible, I think, so. Ah, makes sense. I think I got them filled already, didn't I? It looks like you might have. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so that's our business in the city. All done. One more step. There's been like a thousand steps to getting our house sold, moved, and our vehicles paid off. It's been the most ridiculous process ever. It's been a long process, but we're just about done. Okay, so anyway. Back to Steinbeck. Back to town. We love this little house. You know, neither Britt nor I have missed our old place at all yet. Maybe just a little bit here and there. We miss the the bush, you know, around us and the trails a little bit. But for the most part, this house is so much better. It's so much easier to take care of, so much easier to maintain. I actually do like the convenience of being in town. I know, it grew on me pretty quickly, didn't it? I'm still a country boy, okay? Can't take that away from me. But just the fact that it's just so nice and small, just one bathroom to take care of, two bedrooms. I don't know, we're really happy here. I can tell that Brit is as well. It's just a whole different feeling. And uh, we feel good. Feel good about where life has brought, has brought us. And now that the truck is almost completely mine, I just gotta do the insurance tomorrow yet. <laughs> it never ends. But we got no more vehicle payments. So yeah. We, did, we weren't exactly on the whole Dave Ramsey plan, but the whole less debt idea has really been moving us forward. Less debt. We're not as hardcore as Ramsey or, or some of his followers. We're not, we don't follow him that way, <laughs> but he does have a lot of good points. I disagree with him on some things, but meh, what do I know? What I do know is that I feel a lot better and, uh, I think this time at home is going to serve me and Britt very well 
as well. Because you gotta you gotta remember, it's been nine years straight that I've been doing over the road. And uh, you know, Britt and I met while I was over the road. And this is what she signed up for. She knows what she signed up for. She tells me all the time. She knows that she signed up to be a trucker's wife. But at the same time, the, the biggest thing is that we're trying to start a family, right? And we haven't been having very much luck. And with these lockdowns, they're locking down our fertility clinics. And uh, I guess we all struggle with a little bit of depression, anxiety. And uh, sometimes it's nice to just take a little bit of a breather and just... You know, stop to take a deep breath and spend time with the people that are most important to you and don't lose focus of that. You don't want to just work your whole life away. You want to you wanna work hard. You want to work for everything you have, but you want to make sure that you're able to stop every now and then and just, you know, smell the roses, like they say. Just enjoy life. Don't let it just pass you by because you're so busy working. You got to find that balance, right? Jeez, yo. I thought you were outside, man. Were you outside? How was it? It was cold. It was very cold. I'm gonna go back out now. He's going back yeah. to the door. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, thanks for tagging along with me through this journey as I try to figure myself out. I think I'm going through a, a self-reflection journey or a, a journey of self-discovery. Trying to make sure that uh, we're as happy as we can be. I was just telling them that you uh, really like this house a lot. Yep. And sure so do I. Know. And that it's really, we both seem happier together too. Yep. It's tiny, it's simple, our stress yeah. level's down. Stress level's down, I'm just staying home for a little bit now, just on a little journey of self-discovery. It's been nine years of being over the road. Plus mommy weasel time. Yep. And uh, I think uh, I think Diesel might be pretty much at retirement for on the road as well. Yeah. I don't think he's going back on the truck. Maybe for a shorty like to Saskatchewan or Alberta. But... Maybe some short ones, yeah, but not everyone. No. He's also been having some, uh, well, I, I would say some health issues, but I took him to the vet and he got the green light. But he's got he's, no health issues. He's just slowing down. He's slowing down and he loves being at home with his family. Who doesn't? He's a family dog. Who doesn't? We we were, we lived just me and him for so long. It was just me and Diesel. Yeah, and now he's got this me got this family. This yeah. yeah. And he's like, why are we out here? They're not here. We're, we're family. Oh. We're family just supposed to be together. Oh Hannah, right? Oh Hannah. What? Oh Hannah. Disney saying. Oh, is <laughs> oh, it? Oh, it's a Hawaiian saying. It means family. Oh Hannah. Oh Hannah. Oh. You Hawaiian Diesel. The lighting is very bad in here. We don't have very good lighting in our living room. We have actually no lighting in our living room. No. None. We just have lamps. That's the only way you can light up this living room. Two little lamps. We need to get like, a nice big stand up one. No lights on the roof whatsoever. Just a couple of lamps. <laughs> but that was big in this era when they built this house. Like this house was built in probably the 70s, I think. I think that's what they've been telling us, right? 60s. 60s or late 70s? 60s. Late 60s or 70s? Yeah, they never had lights in their living room. They just expected you to go out of your way and buy your own lamps. So yeah, we need another one in here. Plus, that Christmas tree is going to get lit up this weekend yet. It's going to be all decorated and lit up, so that'll light up that corner. I prefer to call it a Christmas twig. A Christmas twig? Yeah. It's called <laughs> a pencil tree. Britt's we, mom got it for us. We didn't think that we were going to have any room for a Christmas tree, so we got something as skinny as possible. But turns out we actually could have fit a decent-sized tree in there. But that's mm -hmm. okay. Got more room this way. Mm-hmm. As long as we still have Christmas. As long as we still... You can't cancel Christmas. Oh, heck no. Even COVID can't cancel Christmas. COVID can't cancel Christmas. I don't care. Like I said the other day, you cannot stop me from frolicking. Or I didn't say frolicky, but I will frolic. <laughs> You cannot Rob. stop me from frolicking down Rob. Main Street dressed as an elf. Buddy the elf. Okay. Buddy the elf. Prancing, frolicking, all of that. You can't stop me. You can't lock me down like that. It won't happen. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down now. And I'm going to worry about putting this all together tomorrow for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, hit that like button. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 38% of you still aren't subscribed. Down below, hit that button. 
does a lot for me, more than you think. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you tomorrow.